So we just recently got a brand new snippet of the Super Mario Brothers movie, which showed a brand new powered up item for Mario, which is the cat suit from Super Mario 3D World, which is pretty awesome that they're clearly referencing almost every single Mario game. It's not like only the first couple of Mario games for the first movie and then the second movie, only the next couple of Mario games. Like they're just throwing everything in this movie, which is so awesome. But we get to see Cat Mario square off against Donkey Kong. And this is going to be pretty cool because this shows us that there are going to be probably lots of items and power-ups that Mario's going to be able to use within this movie. And it got me wondering what other Mario items and power-ups would be brought into this movie. So today I want to talk about 10 different items or power-ups that Mario could get that would be awesome to see in a movie like this. But we've already gotten to see other power-ups in the movie so far, such as the Fire Flower, where Peach actually got her Fire Flower outfit, and we also got to see Tanuki Mario in the full Tanuki suit flying through the Mushroom Kingdom. Now there's other like item Easter eggs and stuff spread throughout the trailers, but these are the only times we get to see characters actually use different items. Real quick guys, we have just reached 200,000 subscribers, so I put out a special community post talking about what's going on. I'm going to be doing a special video, which is a pretty much a big Q&A, where you guys can ask me any questions you want, but you have to leave your questions under my community tab post that I just posted. So make sure you check that out, make sure you subscribe so that you are eligible in order to leave your question, and thank you guys so much. But let's get into the video. It would be really cool to see the Mega Mushroom in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Like, just to see Mario grow massive and just start stomping on things throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Or maybe they could play it like it's an accidental thing. Like, Mario accidentally takes the Mega Mushroom and starts crushing all types of, like, toad homes and stuff. And he's, like, all sorry for it and didn't mean to do it. That would be really cool. Or maybe he uses it at the very end as, like, a last resort in order to crush Bowser and he just steps on him. But seeing the Mega Mushroom within the Mario movie would be a pretty cool thing. Nothing crazy, but something that's probably going to end up happening. The propeller mushroom is always just a goofy one to me, but we do have the Tanuki suit which allows Mario to fly within the movie, but what if he uses the propeller mushroom for some reason, or maybe the propeller box from Mario 3D Land and 3D World? Well, I mean, it would be cool. I don't see it being like a huge thing they need to have in the movie, but I just see Mario kind of flying up in the air and kind of spinning down on enemies would be pretty cool to see during the movie, just kind of him shoot all the way to the sky. Maybe it's actually how he gets to like Sky World or some type of high area within the mountain ranges, um, just kind of blast towards the sky with this propeller mushroom. It's kind of becoming a staple within the Mario series, some type of a device that allows Mario to shoot up in the air. I mean, we just saw it return in Bowser's Fury, which obviously makes sense because it was in 3D World, but seeing this item return would just kind of make sense as well. We have the fire flower, but what about the ice flower? It could be in the kingdom where the penguins got destroyed by Bowser, but if it is in the game nevertheless, I want it to kind of play like Mario Galaxy's version, where it's actually turned Mario into like an ice form and allowed him to skate on water, which is really cool. Now, I still would love him to throw his ice balls. I think that would be pretty cool, but I just love the ability to be able to skate on water and create those ice platforms, and it could make for a pretty cool scene within the movie. Maybe they go to a water world or something and they can't get across because of the bridge being broken, and Mario's able to skate across and also freeze enemies along his way, I think that would be a cool scene. An item that's really growing on me recently is the boomerang flower in the Mario series. It's just something very interesting about throwing this thing and just having it come back like a projectile that always comes back to you. It's pretty cool and you can throw it pretty quickly as well. But as far as for a movie goes, I don't know exactly if this would be something incredibly cool to have in the movie, but it could be served as a funny plot point. For instance, what if Mario throws it at the very beginning of the movie and then like he goes throughout his adventure, defeats Bowser and everything, and then it hits him in the back of the head before the movie's over. Or maybe it's used to finish Bowser off at the very end. Mario ran out of items, he has nothing left, and that boomerang comes back around that he threw at the very beginning of the movie, and hits Bowser in the head, and then like knocks him over, and allows him to save the day. Like That would be something that would be really, really cool. Just like have a very insignificant plot point, but it doesn't really click in until the very end of the movie. That would be funny. I know, I know, I get it, we already have a flying suit with the Tanuki suit, but it still would be cool to see the Cape Feather or the Super Acorn. I relate more with the Cape Feather, I just don't feel like the Super Acorn Squirrel suit was that cool. All he did was kind of glide, or maybe Mario just needs to glide down, and that's a perfect thing for him to do that, even though the Tanuki suit can do that too. But the Cape Feather I think would look cool to just see Mario with a cape and trying to be like a superhero, or you know, he doesn't know what it does at first, and he's just kind of like messing around with the cape and accidentally finds out that he can like reflect things as well, and maybe he uses 
it to like reflect a lot of Bowser's army stuff. Like, what if Mario gets trapped by like the entirety of Bowser's army and they just start launching bullet bills at him and he can reflect it with the cape? That would be really cool to see him just start reflecting all the bullet bills and Bob on his back and just blowing up Bowser's old army with it. But I mean, yeah, the Tanuki suit can do that too with a tail, so it's kind of a crossroads. These will probably not happen, but you know, I thought I'd put it out there. I mean, I don't know. The Super Acorn could also be pretty cool. What if he's trying to be like a stealth ninja and he's trying to like glide into Bowser's castle and there's like a whole scene where he glides in through the window and kind of makes his way to the throne room um, and then he gets rid of the item and then, you know, swaps it for another item or something like that. It could be used just to teleport or transport uh, to one location from another, so I think it could work. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that we will see the Star Man power-up, giving Mario his invisibility like we've seen throughout almost every single Mario game. This is like an iconic item for Mario, just giving him invulnerability for a short amount of time, and Mario might be able to use this in a special way. Now, I don't know how they're going to kind of, you know, differentiate this with the Power Star as well, because that's always been a confusing thing. Maybe once Mario get his hands on the Power Star, he'll get this in this movie, um, just for the movie's sake, but I don't know. It's also kind of overpowered. I don't know know how they would you know include this into a movie unless it's at the very end of the movie Mario gets the invulnerability and then beats Bowser with it or or maybe it's like Mario gets his invulnerability he starts going crazy going through Bowser's army but then it goes out right before he gets to Bowser and then Bowser just punches him that seems like a very illumination thing to do so we'll have to wait and see Look, at some point in time in this movie, Mario is going to be underwater, and as bad as it is to control him in a Mario game without a suit, it's going to be really boring to just see Mario slowly swim underwater in a movie. And this movie looks like it's a very fast-paced, action-packed movie. I mean, we can even see when Mario got his cat suit, he pounced down extremely fast and agile. So I would love to see some type of frog suit or penguin suit be utilized underwater. Now, the penguin suit was normally made for just sliding on Mario's belly in the ice worlds and down hills, um, but maybe they can incorporate it in this movie as an under water thing as well but the frog suit would also just kind of obviously make sense that's what you use within mario brothers 3 in order to swim perfectly underwater and i think that would be a really cool thing here and mario just looks at the suit like are you kidding me am i really about to wear this frog suit and then realizes how good it is for swimming but there's definitely going to be some underwater parts so definitely throw in that frog suit or that penguin suit i think it would make a lot of sense Look, the Double Cherry is kind of an awkward item to use within Mario 3D World because you have to get them synced up just right or one's always going to get hurt or lost somewhere, but it's a perfect thing to use within a movie. I mean, seriously, I can just see the endless possibilities of Mario finding the Copy Cherry and maybe getting scared because he didn't even realize he stepped on it or something, and then behind them there's another clone of him and it's just kind of freaking him out, and then he realizes it and starts like using it, and he just starts having like 100 or 200, 500 Marios running throughout the field would be really cool to see. And maybe it's definitely used within like a boss battle and maybe Mario and Bowser use it against each other. I mean, we've seen Bowser use it in Mario 3D World and it was really cool to see all the different cat Bowsers climb up the tower and try to get Mario and all of Mario's clones as well. I think that would be an awesome item to have in the movie and it would really be a cool thing to just see a whole bunch of Marios wailing on Bowser. <laughs> like, come on, that'd be perfect. Look, I know this one's a stretch, even for someone that is one of the biggest Mario Sunshine fans in the world. Yeah, I said it. Um, this is a weird item to have in the Mario movie, I'm not gonna lie, but I would still love to see it, right? Having Flood would just mean so much to me as a Mario Sunshine fanboy, but I think it would actually work as a perfect plot device for a second movie, like the sequel, Mario going to a new island, and then just kind of building off of the story of Mario Sunshine into its own movie, I think it would be Mwah. Perfect. Even though that they have items from future Mario games such as the cat suit already in the first Mario movie, that shows that they're not going to have movies kind of based around specific games, but Mario Sunshine is that one game that's so wacky and so different, I feel like they can definitely do that. And the same with for like Mario Galaxy and maybe even Mario Odyssey. The stories are just so wacky and involve characters and items that just don't appear in other Mario games. So I would love to see Flood maybe just make a cameo towards the end of the movie or something, or Mario finds him in the middle of the movie just in a box or or something, or maybe just some type of call out to EGAD and some of his electronics and stuff that he's created, and maybe alluding to a possible Flood and Mario connection coming into the future. Or maybe they just turn it into a funny gag for the movie. I mean, seriously, think about it. What if Mario just has some scene where he needs to clean something up because he made a mess within the Mushroom Kingdom and the only thing that he can find nearby is Flood? Like, and he uses Flood in order to wash everything and just makes a mess and just sprays the entire area with water and just soaks everything and doesn't know what he's doing. I would love to 
just see something that's just like silly and be like, oh my goodness, there's Flood, you know? Or maybe, you know, like I said, hopefully alluding to a sequel, um, which actually revolves around Al Delfino, the Piantas, the Nokis, um, and obviously using Flood there, which just make my little heart so happy. And finally, I know this is towing the line between like characters and partners and items all together, but come on, we gotta have Cappy in some way, right? There's gotta be some type of reference to Cappy, something with Cappy in this movie, it just makes sense. And like I said with Flood, this would make for a brilliant plot device for a sequel to this Mario movie. Maybe Mario finds himself going to different kingdoms in the next movie and obviously partners up with Cappy and he's able to actually turn into different enemies. I mean, I can just seriously see a billion different scripts you could write with that, Mario being able to turn into things. I mean, it's perfect. But of course, this maybe shouldn't be in this movie, maybe just focus on Mario items and the main Mario characters and cast before diving into something as deep as Mario Odyssey's story. But once again, I would love to see maybe a small little reference to this, and maybe they just have kind of Cappy in certain scenes just peeking around the corner and looking at Mario because maybe he needs Mario in the sequel, and maybe in the second movie he finds Mario and tells him he needs his help to save the other Bonneteers. I mean, it would just be awesome. But man, I really want to see Cappy in the Mario movie in some way. It would also make my little heart happy because not only is Cappy a really good item for Mario, but it just feels like it's Mario's new best friend. And I just think Cappy and Mario work so well together, I just can't imagine another Mario game without Cappy. So hopefully he's in the movie and hopefully he comes back in Mario Odyssey 2 or another Mario game in the future, whatever that may be. Look, we could go through all day and talk about the endless possibilities of what Nintendo can do with items, and there's still so many items I didn't even mention today, but hopefully this shows us, thanks to the Cat Mario suit, that Nintendo's not afraid to dive into almost every single Mario game for this movie, that it's not just going to be based on the first couple of games. It's based on Mario's history, and that makes me so excited to see what's going to be in this movie when it's released. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments down below what items you would like to see in the movie, and and what you would like the items to actually do and what purpose you would like them to serve. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to stay up to date on all things the Mario movie and Nintendo in general. And if you want to ask me a question for the Q&A, make sure you go to my community post and do so there. But thank you so much for tuning in and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.